Hey everyone, this is John Winters, and uh, I'm back again with another module. And today we're talking about uh, self-discipline. And self-discipline is a very, very important part of my life. And um, I had to include it in this course because it's something that's going to bring it all together and it's going to make whoever's watching this course it's going to help them implement and consistently execute on everything that's happening or everything that's in this course a big problem with a lot of information products whether it's a book or an audiobook or a video course or even a consulting session is that a lot of guys don't execute or follow through on what they learned and that's a big problem so you know if you don't have self-discipline and mental discipline and focus in your life then you it's going to be very hard for you to change direction um, so I decided to include a module on self-discipline as you know or maybe you don't know I wrote a book on self-discipline it's a very successful audiobook um, also Kindle and, and paperback you can you can find it if you want to check it out and I really went deep into the subject of self-discipline so again i thought it was very important to include self-discipline in here because it's going to be very hard for you to reach your goals in terms of dating and just life in general if you don't have self-discipline in your life so with that in mind let's crack on okay so here's what we're going to cover in this module we're going to look at the question, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this course, this module, this whole thing about improving with dating and women? Why are, why are you really doing this? We're going to look at what is self-discipline. We're going to look at your friendship with pain. We're going to look at the culture of cause and effect. We're going to look at managing ourselves and then we're going to look at the secret of sacrifice. So those are the main areas we're going to look at. Some of them might look like they don't make any sense, but everything is going to fall into place at the end of this module. Again, you know, this first week to bring it all together it's a very important part of the first week's foundation is self-discipline not just for the first week but this whole course and just life in general you know if you wanna lose weight talk to more women improve your business improve your communication whatever it might be that's connected to this big umbrella of improving uh, your dating life uh, it's all connected to self-discipline you can't you can't run from this reality if you have discipline you're gonna have success that's just the way it is so it's important for the first week and for the whole course so let's get right into it so the question why are you doing this why did you why did you buy this course why did you invest in yourself so now I get it you're gonna say well I want to meet more women I want to date I want to have more sex whatever your your answer is you need to have a very very strong why that's gonna push you and that's why we're looking at this question so why are you doing this? Your why needs to be very, very strong. 
you know you can come into this course maybe you, you were just curious maybe you're just checking it out I hope by now you've kind of found a little spark inside of you to really really take this seriously because if you do you can change your whole life you know your why needs to become very strong if it isn't already and I'm sure a lot of you guys listening to this who've invested in this course you, you're serious but you still need to make that why very very strong you know if I ask you okay why are you doing this course you can tell me well I'm doing it because I want to change my whole life and that's a very very strong why but if you have a weak answer like well you know I'm just kind of bored and checking things out then you're probably not going to follow through because that why sounds weak but if you have a very strong why like I want to change my whole life I want to date many women I want to uh, have a serious relationship I want to just have a lot of fun if you have that big why you're going to execute and you're going to need tools to execute and one of those tools are self-discipline self-discipline is um, a fundamental part of success and uh, if you got a strong why you're going to need self-discipline it's going to give you a massive boost so you've got your why and it's maybe pretty strong but you have to remember that the resistance is real you will be confronted by internal resistance you know maybe you you're going to start off strong and say well I want to lose weight I want to get in shape I want to improve my body language I want to dress nicely whatever it might be all of those things are gonna ask discipline because you're gonna have to take actions that you might not enjoy or that might pull you out of your comfort zone it's internal resistance um, there's a great book called the war of art by Stephen Pressfield and in the book he talks about this idea of resistance you know whenever you I'm sure you've experienced it whenever you start for example um, in my life you know sometimes when I get up in the morning and I want to go to the gym or go for a jiu-jitsu class there's this little voice in your in your head that comes up and says you know what let's skip skip today's gym class or jiu-jitsu let's just let's just hang out let's go drink a cup of coffee let's skip it that little voice is what Stephen Pressfield calls the resistance and the resistance is very 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 real and everybody experiences it and uh, it's something you have to keep in mind as you go through this course that the resistance will confront you it's going to try and stop you um, it's just part of life but you can use marketer's secrets to your advantage to get through this whole thing you can use the power of pain and pleasure pain and pleasure are you know, very powerful forces I like to use pain, some people like to use pleasure um, for example let's say I want to do this course that you're watching right now and I don't feel very motivated to execute on all the things that I learn in this course well one way to use pain to to motivate you to take action is ask yourself this question how much pain are you gonna feel six months or a year from now if you don't take action maybe you'll feel depressed and unhappy you'll have a terrible dating and sex life maybe you'll be overweight and sad that's those are painful things to think about so you know in my life I've used those thought of, thoughts of pain to drive me to a lot of success in my life um, to use pain but you can also use pleasure 
maybe you can tell yourself, well, if I do all these cool things, I'm going to have a great time with all these women. I'm going to travel with my girlfriend. You know, these are all pleasurable emotions. You can use those. Some people do. I prefer pain. It drives me a lot harder than, than pleasure. You can also use these two in combination, in combination with each other, you know, pain and pleasure. Find a combination that works for you. And you're going to have to grow a willingness to do things you've never done before. You're going to have to do things you don't like. You know, this, in this course there's going to be certain things that you're going to have to do that you, that's going to make you uncomfortable. Or it's gonna, maybe going to sound like a lot of work. And you're going to make excuses not to do it because you're going to say, well, I don't have the time and all those kind of things. But you're going to have to get over yourself and take action. So you're going to have to do, get out of your comfort zone and just, just do it. Um, you're going to have to become the ruler of your own world. And you know, um, a lot of people, most people, are in an unconscious state of chaos. They don't know it. And maybe you haven't noticed it in some of your friends, a lot of people you, you meet. But if you spend more time with them in a close environment, you'll notice that there's no structure. Things just kind of happen, and they just kind of go with it. It's like a river going down, or the river of life, and they've just kind of jumped into the water and they're allowing the river to take them downstream. This is the, the state most people live in. An un unconscious state of chaos. They've got no control over their emotions. They've got no control over their finances, their dating and sex life, their mind. In all other areas of life, they've got no real control over it. Um, they might think they do, but really they don't. Because if you look at their results, it's pretty clear that they're living, living in an unconscious state of chaos. If you're one of those people, well, you're in this course now. You're going to change it. And if you have a little bit of stability already, or a lot of stability, you're going to make you better, stronger, and push you on to your goals. So, the reason you join this course is you have some kind of ideal or idea of who you want to be. And we've already, already discussed that uh, a little bit in the first week, but we're going to get into it a little bit more. You want to be somebody else or become somebody else because obviously you're not happy with who you are at the moment. You're not having success in this part of your life. And to have success, you're going to have to transform. You're going to have to go after an ideal, an ideal you. And you're going to have to take ownership and step up. We've already talked about uh, taking ownership and stepping up. And uh, self-discipline is going to help you be consistent with going after that ideal that you have in your mind. Okay, so what is self-discipline? Well, self-control is key. And that means delaying gratification. We live in a world where, you know, people want things right now. They want to press a button. They want somebody to deliver whatever they ordered within a few hours or at least the next day. And if that doesn't, doesn't happen, you know, they're not happy. They have so much choice and, comf and comfort that they want to have the pleasure right now if it doesn't happen, they they feel depressed. 
um, they can't delay gratification. They want things to happen right now. And this is all about not having self-control. For you to get what you want, you're going to have to get a high level of self-control. Um, there might be people listening to this thinking, well, I've got self-control. Well, there's probably areas of your life where you don't. And that's why you're listening to this course. I know there's a wide range of people listening to this course, watching this course. There are probably areas in your life where you don't have control. And uh, you're going to use self-discipline to take care of those problems or challenges. And the reason why you know, self-control is so hard for us is because our ancient brains makes it hard for us. Um, there's a famous scientist, I think his surname was McLean, McLean. He talked about the triune brain theory. And in it, he, he, he had the theory about the human brain being actually three brains. It forms the one big whole brain. And he said we have the reptilian brain, the mammalian brain, then the new mammalian brain. So the, the reptilian brain is the oldest part that evolved out of reptiles, obviously. And then the mammalian brain, which is our chimp brain. These are our two oldest brains, obviously. Reptilian, mammalian. And then the new mammalian is the human brain. The, ra the rational, logical brain. And this is, there's a, a view of the world that a lot of people have that think that humans are rational. But the reality is, most of the time, humans are not rational. We get dominated by the older parts of our brain. You know, with all the advances we've made in modern life, people think, well, you know, humans are so rational. But you can just spend five minutes on social media or watch TV and you will find out very quickly that we are not rational most of the time. We get dominated by, by our emotions and we get dominated by these older parts of our brain. The logical brain, we do use it, uh, you know, sometimes, but we get blocked by our reptilian and mammalian brains and this is why it's so hard for a lot of people to get things done or to follow through and that's why a lot of people um, just give up you know first part of resistance they just give up and that's why in the modern world it's quite quite easy to win or reasonably easy to win because most people quit they let these ancient part of our brains dominate and they lose. So what we want to do is get more control over these po ancient parts of our brain and give more power to our logical or new mammalian brain. So the three brain theory shows the challenge of self-discipline. You are always in battle with the ancient parts of the brain. This is always going on. And remember, Biology is ruthless. If you don't confront it, you're going to have serious problems. You have to resist it. Um, you know, biology creeps up on you. You know, you, for example, you'll get overweight, you'll get a little bit of uh, fat around your tummy, you let it go, you don't work out, and a few years go by, your health goes backwards and you tell yourself, well, you know, next year I'll take care of it. And before you know it, you're diabetic and you have serious health problems. This is how ruthless biology is. It doesn't care about your feelings. It just steams on forward. And if you don't confront these ancient parts of your brain, your biology is just going to run with it. So it's your job to recognize these, Ill, these ancient impulses in your, in your body and then fight them 
and overcome them. And this is why we need self-discipline. Okay, so your friendship with pain. So, most humans run when they're confronted with pain. But you have to confront it. Um, you're going to have to get uncomfortable, like I said. You're going to have to maybe do some tough workouts. You know, go to the gym, uh, change the way you eat, change the way you carry yourself in terms of your body language. And you're not going to like it. You might find these things painful. But you're going to have to become friends with pain. You're going to have to confront your weakness and overcome it and get stronger. This is how you're going to make change and get better with not just women and dating, but in all areas of your life. But the thing is, humans don't like change. You know, they get seduced by modern comfort. But like I said, biology is ruthless. And before you know it, all kinds of chaos breaks out. Remember the ship analogy, and I'm going to use this analogy a lot in this, in this course. Your life is a ship, and you think you're going north to the promised land. That's what most people think. And then they end up in the rocks in the south, because they thought they were going north, but nobody was at the steering wheel. They crashed into the rocks. So don't be that guy. Don't be, don't be a number. Don't be a statistic. Take control of the wheel. And be conscious of your biology. Be conscious about your ancient parts of your brain. And be conscious about the fact that you have to be disciplined to control your mind, your body and all the actions that flow from that so make friends with pain overcome it so what do you do if you're on the rocks right now let's say you feel like you're in a corner mm -hmm. you feel like there's, you know you don't know if you can ever have success with women and dating and just life in general well you can recover you can make it back north but you're going to have to start looking for pain. You're going to have to start becoming friends with pain. And just overcoming it. And then start pushing on north. But always remember, you know, don't be entitled. The world owes you nothing. So work hard to get what you want. And you will be rewarded. That's just a, the way the universe works. If you put in the work, you will be rewarded for it. Okay, so now we're going to look at the culture of cause and effect. Culture of cause and effect. So talking about self-discipline is easy. We can talk about self-discipline for another hour. But building a culture of self-discipline, that's the hard part. You know, it's, uh, you know, this is the reason why things like diets fail. Because it's temporary. If you want something to, to have real substance and be lasting and make real change you're going to have to create a culture in your life of self-discipline it, it has to become a part of you it has to be just part of your life it's not something you do sometimes it's part of your life so most most efforts to adopt self-discipline will fail because it's temporary but successful people implement a permanent culture of self-discipline in their lives. So you need, you need to make a, a commitment. 
if you just give it a go, you're going to fail. You have to commit. So many men want to get better, but they are dabblers. They, they dabble with self-discipline, they dabble with dieting, they dabble with getting better with women and dating. They don't commit. They just put one foot in the water and they don't jump in. But you have to jump in if you want to have success with women and dating and just life in general. Whatever it is you want to improve in life, you have to commit. Because if you just put your foot in, you're going to fail. So stop believing that, that big things are possible for you. Just believe it. You know, we're going to talk a lot about the mind in this course. But you, get, you have to start by believing that big things are possible. And then go out and turn them into reality. Now we're going to talk about managing ourselves. So managing ourselves. A key part of, of self-discipline is managing ourselves. So managing our time and productivity is very, very important. I'm sure you have a busy life. Maybe you're a professional. Maybe you're a university student. Maybe you are an entrepreneur. Maybe you, you're very busy. So you're going to have to manage yourself to get all the work done that needs to be done in this course. And you're going to have to manage all that stuff plus do your work. So you can, it's key that you manage yourself. And that means managing your time and pro productivity uh, is going to be key. So managing yourself is built on how you start the day. So you need a startup ritual. Um, every day I start my day the same way. I have a ritual that I do every day. Uh, I talk more about it in my book, Self-Discipline. But basically it's about a worked out system that when I open my eyes in the morning, I'm ready to go. I open my eyes. Everything is already worked out and planned. I know exactly what to do. Everything is set up and it just gives me a smooth entry into the day and it just builds momentum for me without doing much thinking. There's not much resistance because it's already set up for me. So, for example, I get up in the morning, I go wash my face, brush my teeth, have a cup of coffee, read my journal, look at my goals and my mindset worksheet, which we'll talk about later. I do my exercise, I take a shower, I have breakfast, and then I go on to my day. That was just a quick run through of an example of a startup ritual. It's a lot more detail in my book, but this is just to give you an idea about building a foundation in the morning where you don't have to think about things, work things out, plan. That way you're going to take a lot of resistance out of, out of your startup. So start with the ritual. And that's going to give you momentum into the, the day. And it's just going to give you a front foot start and make everything else after that seem easy. Your mind is going to be feeling sharp. Your body is going to be feel energized and ready to go. Um, it's just a must have for anybody serious about implementing self-discipline and just serious about improving all areas of life. And this links up with alignment. You know, you're going to 
improve all parts of your life now, you're going to need to align everything. So it doesn't matter if you, you're doing all these things in this course, you want to get better, you want to get in shape, you want to improve your communication, but some things are not aligned. For example, maybe you want to lose weight, as an example, but you still eat junk food four nights a week. Well, that means your diet is not aligned with your goals. So you need to align everything with your goals. That's going to make or get rid of a lot of resistance in your life. You know, I know guys who want to get better, but they still drink four nights a week and get drunk, get up hungover, and then they ask me why they find it hard to, to build momentum and success. Well, you just can't live like that and then expect real positive results with most areas of your life. You need to align with what you want. Of course, if you're somebody who don't care about success, well, getting drunk every night is not going to be a problem. But if you're watching this course, you obviously you have certain goals and you want to align your lifestyle with those goals. Another important thing is to work on time blocks. Uh, human focus has two parts, quantity and quality. So you need to do, obviously do the quantity in terms of do the hours that you need to do, but those hours need to be quality hours. It doesn't matter if you, you tell yourself, well, I'm working 12 hours a day, but you, in actual fact, just sitting at your desk, playing around on social media, and you're not 100% focused and committed on what you're doing. So you need to make sure you're doing the time and that you're doing quality work in that time. No distractions, you're totally focused. So working blocks, for example, Work for 30 minutes, relax for 10. Work for 30 minutes, relax for 10. But make, make that 30 minutes serious, high quality, focused time. Put your phone off, put it in silent, outside the room, and really focus on what you need to get done. And then when you take a break, well, do the same thing. Commit to your break. So time is our most important commodity, guys. Once it's gone, you don't get it back. So examine your personal use of time. You know, take a look at where you're wasting time. And try to cut those wasteful hours out. So organization is key. Don't just waste time. Because, like I said, when it's gone, you don't get it back. So, vision, goals preparation, execution. We're going to look at uh, you know, vision for your life later and some goals, and preparation. But these are all important things you need to keep in mind. Your vision, your goals, your preparation, and then most importantly, execution. You need all those things to be aligned and then do this every day and then take one day a week off and recharge. So we manage ourselves, we become focused, and we do quality work, all based on our vision and our goals and our preparation. And then one day a week, we, we take off and we recharge. Usually I take Sundays off, just relax. So whatever day you want to take off, you can do Saturdays, just make it work for you but we'll get into more detail about this a little bit later if you want to check out more about the startup ritual check out my book i talk about a little bit more detail in the book okay so the secret of sacrifice so the heart of self-discipline is sacrifice you're going to have to give some things up to get what you want in life, you will have to give some things up. You know, the, 
this is just some a thing that some people don't want to accept that if you want something of real value you're gonna to have to some give some things up for example if you if you really want to improve your your mindset you're gonna to have to cut out bad influences in your life I mean you can't can't spend 90% of your time with negative people and then expect to get positive results in life so you're gonna to have to sacrifice spending time with those people if that's the case in your life as one example of sacrificing socializing with people that don't have your best interest in heart or in their mind um, so to get what you want you're gonna to need to sacrifice some things another example could be if you want to get in the best shape of your life you're gonna to need to stop eating ice cream and and french fries you're gonna to have to sacrifice those things there's no way around that and you're gonna to have to ask yourself how badly how badly you want to get your dream life this life you really want ask yourself how badly you really want this and now ask yourself how much are you willing to give up to get it you know when I was um, still doing a job before I was a full-time entrepreneur I was willing to do whatever it took to get out of that life so I didn't really need motivation because I just the pain of being in a, a normal nine-to-five job was just too much for me so I was willing to give give a lot of stuff up to just get things done you know I didn't watch TV for a while I sacrificed my social life and I just pushed on to get what I wanted so get obsessed with your own success in life and be obsessed with getting the most out of this one life you have you know if you want to have a great dating life with a lot of women in your in your life and just an abundance with success in general then get obsessed with your own success you know the sacrifice is a small price to pay for living a life you really really love so sacrifice gentlemen remember comfort zones are your enemy you need to be constantly leaning over your edge to grow in this universe if you stay comfortable nothing changes you have to push into the you know just slightly or even totally over your edge to grow you have to become uncomfortable to grow um, there's a reason why the Navy SEALs for example have a hell week they have a hell week because they need to make guys uncomfortable so they can find the high value guys in that group if they just keep everybody comfortable they're not gonna see who really really wants it and it's the same for you if you really really want to have success in this area of your life you're gonna to need to sacrifice and take some pain things that you do things you don't like and then you're gonna to have to build up you know build mental toughness and mental toughness is the process of maintaining self-discipline in your life you know it's easy to say well I'm mentally tough I'm self-disciplined but you only do let's say you only do it for like a few days and then you let it go well then you have no mental toughness then you you broke down after a day or two which means you don't really want the dream life you you said you wanted so if you want that dream life you're gonna have to build mental toughness stay consistent keep on taking action and for a while you're gonna have to do things that you don't necessarily enjoy to get what you want okay so here's some action items for you to 
to keep in mind or write down and start executing on as soon as you have time. Go and examine the last seven days. Ask yourself how much time did you waste? Just look back, you know, how, how many hours did you watch TV or spent surfing the internet, looking at social media? Just try and, you know, add up those hours. Ask yourself how much time did you waste in the last seven days? And if you're really honest with yourself, there's a lot of, a lot of those hours, a lot of those things that you wasted on you can sacrifice those things to get what you want. So go, go be honest with yourself and ask yourself how much time you wasted. And then start building a disciplined lifestyle and align everything with your vision for your life. If there are some things holding you back, get rid of it. Align everything with your vision. And then start sacrificing things that don't serve you. And then start building your mental toughness. Sacrifice, guys. Do the work and sacrifice. And you'll get what you want. And then you'll start building that mental toughness to start, really start building that dream life that you really want. So, strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Guys, you're going to have to go through some hard times, some challenges, to get what you want and to get stronger. Don't stop when you feel resistance, don't stop when you feel a little bit of pain. When you go out of your comfort zone, just keep pushing. And if you do the work, you're going to get what you want. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me for this module. And uh, next we're going to go into week two. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.